What the fuck is popping YouTube? I'm back with another motherfucking banger after another little little. <laughs> I ain't did this shit in so long. <clears throat> What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another motherfucking banger after banger after banger after motherfucking banger. It's your girl, Pink Draco. I know y'all been waiting for me. Y'all been waiting for my appearance. I'm sorry. I've been needing a break. I've been needing to refine myself. Um, Not even by myself. I just needed to clear my mind. I needed to be in positive thoughts. I was having such a past. From the last time you've seen me to now, like... My life has been all over the place, literally, like, I've been on a roller coaster. I want to let you guys know something personal about me. I do suffer from depression. It's not nothing to hide because everyone goes through things. And I think it's better that I speak about it than hide it. But um, depression is real, and it's definitely hard to deal with it when you're in a whole different state where you really don't know nobody, the people that you do know, like you know from other people or like it's it's just hard but it's it's i don't know how to explain it but it's very hard having depression living in a state where you don't have no one no one can comfort you like you just have to get through it and come out strong all on your own and that's what the fuck i be doing so props to myself because it could be a lot worse i never got to the point where oh my god i'm gonna kill myself no but I do get sad, I do get super depressed, I do think very negative about myself, and I just start feeding my mind negative thoughts, which I should not do, because you're a bad bitch, uh, so why are you doing that? I don't know. But, I'm out of that phase, I'm back and I'm better, I'm feeling better, I'm looking better, I know you guys can tell that my energy is better. Um... All the fucking negative and toxic ass people's out my life. And it's not like anything happened to make me get out of my life. I've just been staying away from everybody because y'all are not benefiting me in no way at all. Y'all are not helping me. Y'all are not paying my bills. Y'all are like nothing. So what am I hanging out with y'all for? What am I being seen with y'all for? Stepping out to the club. All this shit. Like y'all do not benefit me in no way. So what am I being seen with y'all for? So I got my hair braided. This girl did my hair. Her Instagram is at Bow Mob. She didn't do it for promo. She just did it. But I'm promoing her because we had a good ass combo. So these are the braids. They have to be flat in the back more. But they're cute. So. Yeah. I posted on Instagram. And my room might be a little messy. Don't mind it because I'm in the process of moving. Literally, I'm in the process of moving and um, I'm rearranging my house. Um, when I move, I need to get something to sit on because I want to sit so I can be higher. But when I do move, um, everything's going to be even more lit. So, I posted on Instagram. I did a Q&A, y'all. Let me show y'all some. I accidentally deleted my whole, 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 like, camera. Hold up. I deleted my whole photo gallery. And then once I deleted it, I went to retain and delete it. And instead of clicking recover, I put delete all. So the last Q&A that I had did where I had my red hair, the one that I was supposed to upload, it's sitting right here and on my other phone like on here it's not playing it's showing like the little loading but on my other phone that i'm recording on it oh banger after banger after mother effing banger so the only way i can get this uploaded is if i screen record this shit for 42 freaking minutes and re-edit it all over yet. I mean, 46, and I'm just not gonna do that. So, I just posted it. Y'all gonna ask me some Q&As on Instagram. Um, hopefully, y'all got some in here. I do remember some Q&As that y'all asked in um, this last <clears throat> video. But let me just go to um, Instagram real quick. Give me a second.
Oh, you guys gave me a lot of questions already. I'm gonna start from the bottom. <laughs> um, someone said, why you don't be in Prime's videos no more and vice versa? Um, the reason I haven't been in Prime's videos anymore and the reason he hasn't been in mine is just because we haven't linked up to um, do any videos. Um, like I said, I needed to clear my mind I needed to do a lot of things so I thought what was best for me is to just separate myself from everybody and just start all over fresh and new so this is like me starting over fresh and new um everything that did happen in the past and all the crazy shit I did and I'll, I just want you guys to forget all of that because I really want to start over I'm gonna start I wish I could like delete all my YouTube videos and just start all over again but I can't do that because I'm getting paid, I'm getting views, so whatever, I'm leaving them up. But this is a fresh start, y'all. So, um, it's really like no reason, it's just I, he's been doing him and I've been doing me. I haven't tried to link up with him for no reason. Um, I've just been doing me, I've just been worrying about me. Um, someone said your favorite color. My favorite color, Accessory Rise, is pink. I love pink. But clothing-wise, I always wear dark colors. I like black, red, white, gray. And yeah, those are like the clothing stuff that I normally go towards. But my favorite color is pink. Um, someone said, how have you been? I have been good. Um, good, but not good. Like, today I'm feeling wonderful. Yesterday I was feeling iffy. The day before that I was feeling so depressed. Like guys, and I, I don't have regular depression. I have bipolar depression. So I'm happy as fuck right now. And in two hours I could be boo hoo fucking sad and I'll sleep all day for the rest of the day. Like it's, guys it sucks. It's so horrible. But I'm I'm good. I'm good right now. <laughs> I'm good right now. I separated myself from everything that could possibly make me depressed. And I'm not going through nothing. I'm happy. So. Someone said, what's your favorite sex position? I feel like every sex position is good as long as the partner knows what they're doing. I think I answered this before. But my answer doesn't change. As long as the partner knows what they're doing, every sex position is fucking bomb. okay all right someone said um what's your favorite food um living in florida i would have said oh my favorite food is crab or i would have said some type of seafood or some exotic shit you know living in atlanta my favorite food is chicken wings if you can find them anywhere like the only thing to eat down here is fucking chicken wings and chicken so i like chicken <laughs> um advice on life after school my advice on life after school is don't stop um i was one of those people that was like i'm not a college type of girl so i went and i got my rn license i did night school um i got my cosmetology license i didn't go to actual college but i went to technical schools even if you don't want to go to college go to technical schools like do something don't like like i have a friend she graduated she's like i'm gonna take a break just a one year break and then I'm gonna go to college. She took that one year break and that bitch fell off, like fell off, off. Don't, don't do it at all. Don't take no break, don't do nothing. When you're done with high school, even if you don't wanna motherfucking go to college, immediately start working your job. Immediately start doing whatever you're gonna do. Bitch, I was motherfucking in fucking 18, a senior with a motherfucking M4 BMW. Like I was doing it. Like you better be fucking doing it. Like I was doing it, like. <laughs> don't and at the same time it was like yeah i did have like listen i worked my ass off finesse 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 i didn't have no job but i made sure i had that bmw you want to know why because finesse bitch the fuck don't play y'all it don't matter what the fuck y'all do y'all better get your motherfucking money don't stop shit okay who's your favorite rapper right now my favorite rapper is east g that nigga be sliding i think i want to do a um remix to one of his songs i want to get in the studio and do a remix on his songs. Y'all like my braids? I don't know how I feel about them. I feel like my forehead's huge as fuck. Um, how many size twos do you have? And do you plan on getting more? 
before i just recently got this new stupid ass tattoo i think i said i had like 12 right and i got this stupid ass tattoo so i have 13 but i'm getting some more um tattoos probably this week or next week where i'm gonna finish my sleeve and cover up some things so i will have more <laughs> but I, I just have a lot of tattoos when i finish my sleeve i think i'm finally gonna do like a tattoo tutorial for you guys um someone said is you a freak i'm definitely a freak if i fuck with you and i know what you're doing and i know like where your body been where you been i know all about you like i'm definitely a freak definitely someone said how many bodies you got Ooh, okay so <laughs> i was thinking about doing a youtube video where i told y'all all about my bodies and then who they were because they're not regular regular schmegler niggas the fuck they're your favorite industry niggas let me stop <laughs> i was thinking about doing a motherfucking um video about that i might i don't know you never know but if you do what a video on my bodies and who I fucked and who the fuck had that good good. Let me know. Let me know, okay? Um, someone said what you mix with. My mom is Italian and Puerto Rican. And my dad, I'm just gonna say that he's he, he's literally literally Ethiopian. But people like to argue with me about that shit, so I'm just gonna say he's fucking African American, okay? Where are you from? I was born in Thomasville, Georgia. I was raised in Delray Beach, Florida, from Palm Beach. Um, someone said, have you ever had a one night stand? Yeah, I have. Like, come on, it's life weirdos. I've had a one night stand before. And it wasn't my fault that it was a one night stand, it was his fault because when niggas get a sense of this pussy, they wanna come back. But if your shit's not good, I'm treating you like a dub. Bye, I'm just a fuck. If you let me come, Bye. Like, bye. <laughs> um, when was your first real relationship? My first real relationship was my senior year. It lasted for two years and a half. It was toxic as fuck. And, uh, oh, I know y'all don't want to start on that. I mean, I know y'all do, but y'all don't at the same time. Someone said, what happened to YNH? Nothing happened to YNH, you guys. Nothing at all. Like, nothing happened. Why is she still here? Why is she still a thing? Um, why is she still up and popping? Why is she doing its shit? Like, why is she popping? Nothing happened to YNH. <clears throat> is it fun to live in ATL? It is so lit. The thing is, if you move to Atlanta and you don't know nobody, you don't got no connects, you're going to be boring as fuck because you're going to be like, damn, I live in the fucking country. I live in the middle of nowhere. Like, you're going to think you live in the middle of nowhere. This is a city to make money. You have to know people. You have to have connects. Like, you don't come to Atlanta to live a regular life. You have to come to Atlanta to motherfucking be on your shit, try to live a superstar life. Like, in Atlanta, we're superstars. This is, like, another, like, Beverly Hills. Like, Atlanta is literally another Beverly Hills. Like, what's your favorite um tattoo? My favorite tattoo is the one on my neck. Because mm, everyone likes it. And I like my chin tattoo because this is my brother's name. Do you like weed or alcohol? I love weed. Um, I hate alcohol. I don't drink. So. Mm -mm. Have you ever gotten into a fight? Yes, I have. I've never lost a fight in my life. I win them all. So. Don't play. Someone said. And I, I seen y'all talking about my nails. Let me talk about my motherfucking nails. If I want my, my motherfucking ghetto ass nails, you don't let me have my motherfucking ghetto ass nails because my nails ain't doing shit to you. Uh. Why aren't you uploading often? Is it something that has to do with Prime? No, guys. It has nothing. Nothing in my life at all has to do with Prime. My life does not evolve around him. My life don't even worry or care about him. Um... I've just, like I said, I wish I could do my whole YouTube all over again. But I just got to pick up and start from where I left. And that's what I'm doing. So, I just needed to, like I say, like, I just needed to find myself all over again. Um, I needed to clear my mind, think about some things, think about what I really wanted to do. Um, 
and this is what I want to do this is genuinely what I want to do I've always wanted to do YouTube like nobody made me nobody made me do YouTube nobody made me do I've always wanted to do YouTube I was just always scared I didn't know where to start and Prime was like start with me that was it so I started with him um and it's like because I started my channel with him Y'all are like used to seeing me with him and to me, I was just used to doing like videos with him or about him or da 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 da. But now, because I don't want to do videos with him no more. That's why yes, I'm not seeing him on my channel. I don't want to film with him anymore, nothing like that. I just want to be in YNH, but I have nothing to do with him. So, um, it's like I got to find my own type of content to post. And it's like, my life is in Florida. My lit life, my fun life. And I say, y'all gonna see me lit? That's in Florida. So when I go back to Florida, like, then you guys will see, like, oh, okay, she's really lit. She's really popping. Like, the lifestyle that y'all be seeing all these YouTubers live when they're outside lit with their friends and shit, I will be living that life when I get to Florida. Like, I promise you. Like, and I'm going to Florida this weekend. So, somebody said, um... Do you miss Prime? Guys, stop asking me stupid shit. Um, life update, ho. We miss you. Life update, bitch. Okay, so. Let me, let me. Uh, fucking life update. Okay. <clears throat> there is no life update. I have uh, my best friend had her baby. And, um, I'm moving. Um, I got some new business ventures. I have some new friends that I met. Not even friends. A new friend that I met that I might introduce to YouTube. Um, <laughs> we're just going to call him Corvette Corvette. <laughs> Corvette Corvette. We're going to call him Corvette Corvette. And, um, um, I got new music. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I got some fire ass shit. I know y'all really be waiting for the music, but I'm the type of person, I'm not just gonna drop snippets or shit on I, um SoundCloud. When I drop my shit, it's gonna be dropped with a music video, everything together, like, mm, mm. Don't play, okay? So listen, um, just give me some time. But I got a lot of new shit. But yeah, I'm moving. Best friend had her baby. I got new business ventures, new money coming in, a lot of shit. So just be ready. What is the type of nigga you would definitely marry? The perfect example of the type of nigga that I would marry is Key Glock. <laughs> if you know me. You know I'm in love with Key Glock. Key Glock, I will suck it through the camera. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. Um, Someone said, would you date a stud? Yeah, I would talk to a stud. She's got to be fine as fuck. Fine as fuck, you know. That's it. Made me want to have a little set. She got to be cute. <laughs> Um, ooh, that's what a lot of questions about. <laughs> ah, see that I'm gonna beat your ass. Somebody said, Why you don't get in tune with see that? What you mean? I'm gonna beat his ass because did he tell you to put that? Let me go to your page real quick. are you i'm 21 advice for staying motivated for music making um my advice for staying motivated for music um making is that like this there's ugly bitches in the industry that's made it an in industry for music by your picture you're very beautiful so you're definitely gonna make it and no matter what anyone tells you your sound like i've had 
Like I've like, and it, it's not even a racial thing, but most African American girls, they don't like my music. They're like, oh, it's too white. It's not like a white girl, da 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 da. But then everyone else, they fuck with my shit. And I used to feel insecure about my music. I'm like, oh my God, they say I sound too white. Like girls don't like my shit. It's literally niggas and grown people who like my shit. So like, it's just, it's just like, <laughs> Your sound will not be for everyone. No matter what no one says, your sound's not for everyone. Everyone don't listen to the City Girls. Everyone don't listen to Sweetie. Everyone don't listen to Coyle Ray. But guess what? They have the people that do support them. So do what you're going to do. Sex sells. Um, but what keeps me motivated, because I know my music popping. Once I drop my first music video, it's over with for a lot of these bitches. It's over with. It's going down the drain. Their rap career is going down the drain. It's over. But I'm letting you know right now that... Bro, as long as you're fire, you got the swag, you got the look, like, your music is gonna sell. There's different types of fucking weird ass humans in the world. Somebody's gonna like your music. Um, ooh, hold up, guys, because I got a lot. All right. When are you gonna start doing challenges? I would do challenges. Like I said, I'm back on YouTube this week, so drop some challenges that you want me to do. And I would do them. I definitely would. Do some challenges for y'all. Just let me know. Y'all know it's about whatever. All right. <laughs> oh my God. So when said, have you been mentally, physically, and emotionally? I've been fucking horrible. <laughs> horrible but life gets better right someone said where are those lashes from these are lash extensions they're not from no one someone had did them but thanks girly she said why are you so sexy i don't know i be feeling insecure and doubt about myself sometimes you think i'm sexy <laughs> someone said where were you the past two weeks with these emojis they look like my mama the emoji that my mama be using i'm sorry dad i've I was in my room locked in a shell. Um, someone said, why have you been so quiet? Are you okay? I've been so quiet because, oh my God, guys, and y'all know I'm a cry baby. My eyes are getting watery because I'm skipping a lot of questions that y'all are asking me because these questions are very personal or they're just very like, oh my God. Like, I've just, like I said, I suffer from depression, so a lot of shit has been getting to me, and it's like a lot of shit I act like I don't care about, or like, oh, it don't bother me, or da-da-da, and it really does bother me, so I just be having to deal with my shit on my own, like, y'all are not, y'all are not the cause for none of this shit, so I don't, I can't put none of my motherfucking problems on y'all, like, Mm. Someone said, do you got a new bae? I don't know if I have a new bae. I got a new friend. A new boo. Do you like girls? I'm picky, but yeah, I like pretty bitches. And I actually, oh my God, I have to, ooh, I'm not even... <laughs> someone said do you and prime share that YNH chain i don't know if you guys noticed or not but i still have my actual chain i just don't have the pendant the reason i don't have the pendant is because okay so the the video that prime had um dropped on valentine's day if you watch the video you see his nephew was wearing the YNH pendant he asked her to pin it back so his nephew could put it on for a music video and literally since that music video i have not linked up with prime to get it um i haven't seen prime since like he did that music video so i haven't like seen him see it back but i mean like you know making it something that it's not i obviously still have my chain um so i said are you single yes i am
why don't you post videos no more um y'all are asking the same questions let me see let me see my read tolerance i could smoke like maybe like i don't know i could smoke a lot but i normally be smoking like uh, two or three blunts a day lately it's been like two the most wigs or lace friends um i like sew-ins with the lace friends but you gotta get good ass hair um so said why you keep leaving us in parentheses those who like seeing you active um my reason for leaving you guys i explained it already i do go through things so hopefully people who go through things the same things i go through like you guys understand that's it um someone said are you covering that tattoo yes sir ski yes sir ski yes my boy yes boy you're not even gonna ask me that question i'm gonna start back posting a lot of videos for y'all though like i just i just like I said, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. But I'm back on my shit. I'm going to be posting videos for y'all. Um, I'm going to be just back on my shit for y'all. So what's up? Would you ever do a meet and a greet in Miami? By the way, you're so pretty. I love your videos. I would definitely do a meet and greet in Miami. That's my city. I will be down there this weekend. Someone said, are you in Miami the kid beefing? Me and Miami the kid. Me and Miami the kid. Um, <laughs> me and Miami the kid don't have no beef at all. Um, when I made that video, talking about Miami the kid, I made it clear that we don't have no beef. I never watched his video. Um, that he made, having a reaction to my video. But we in Miami just talked like five days ago. Like we're good. When I go to Miami, we're breaking. Like. We don't have no issue at all. There's no issue. So if you guys know an issue that I don't know about, please let me know. Someone said, um, <clears throat> how do you feel about Secret Bay? Would you collaborate with her? I would not collaborate with that bitch. And I don't feel no type of way about that hoe. Um, <clears throat> my mind don't think about her and I don't have no animosity towards her. But what's making me starting to not like her is how you guys screen record a little shit of her saying like like bro somebody screen recorded me a part of her talking about i think prime was talking about food or something and she's like yeah because you're always eating chicken nuggets and fries when you're not with me or some shit like that and it's like bitch that nigga chose to eat chicken nuggets and fries i'm not gonna cook for that nigga i'm not his bitch and i'm not his mama the fuck if you're gonna cook for him you cook for him you dumb ass hoe but i'm not and um that nigga will continue to get frozen oven chicken nuggets and fries when he's fucking over here the fuck <laughs> fuck you thought this was and um there's like other shit where somebody said something like well they screen recorded a part and prime was like something about like the females he talked to she said oh they taught your name or something like that that was a shot towards me i don't take throwing shots very lightly because I throw hands in real life. Um, and I can never beef with a bitch that works for a casting call company to be a video vixen and only make $100 per video she's in. Molly World Casting? That's my uncle's best friend. So I could easily pull up to the working site and beat her ass if I wanted to. Like, y'all don't understand. I may be from Florida, but a lot of this industry shit, my mom set the record stone for a lot of this industry shit which means when i come anywhere they know my face from my mom or i just got connects because my family is in the industry business so the fact that molly Bro casting is my uncle's best friend's business and they want me in every motherfucking music video and i tell them no i don't do that shit because i make my own music how easy do you think it is for me like me uploading this video right here is a fresh start stop playing with me please stop speaking on me um, I'm gonna need y'all to stop screen recording her and sending it to me because I don't care. There ain't no real beef. If she got animosity for a dick, then she can have animosity for a dick. 
I got into my seat about my respect. Don't be throwing shots, especially when people know who you're talking about, which is me. I'm the only person that you be talking about. I throw hands in real life. I get active in real life. I'm very direct and you're very indirect. So, um, you can either DM me your address, which I've been asked you for. You just act like you don't see my shit. Or you can just um, shut the fuck up for our pop your shit. Simple. Because I will really do it to you. I will really do it to you. I will dog walk the shit out of you. I'll beat the shit out of you. I will spit in your fucking face. Like, don't play with me. Um, someone said, would you please do um, a video with Sneaky Link again? We wanted to see this. No, because I told y'all the reason that I linked up with Sneaky Link. So why would I do another video with him? Um, somebody, also on the question on top, they're like, did you see the videos that he made? I have not been watching none of his videos because I know the truth and I said what I said, so it is what it is. But I do see. <laughs> oh my god, I do see that this boy's infatuated with me. He keeps motherfucking making videos and shit. And I have like, um, I don't know if you guys remember the video that Prime made with my girlfriend who I got her ring. Her name's Honesty. He we text the sneaky link texts Honesty also, and he texts about me. Or sometimes he'll just text honesty like you know you want to be with me da 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 like he's just a sad damn they're taking the police for a run my boy <laughs> ah! i'm too high today but like he would just text honesty and be like da da da, -da. Like, like my ex-girlfriend knows him like because she's a stripper and she dances like state to state so she was just like, girl, I know him. And when I text him about you, he was like, stop trying to defend her. If you want to be with me, just say that. Like, he really just wants a relationship. He wants a girlfriend. When do y'all need to go be with him? Something. When do y'all need to go make him happy? Because I don't even bother this boy. I just said why I didn't want him. And now he hates my fucking life. Like, weird flex. Um, But me and my ex-girlfriend will be linking up to do a video about him. <sighs> and... That's just that. Um, someone said, will you No. <laughs> someone said, Will you please collaborate with another big YouTuber? I will. Definitely will. Um someone said would you collaborate with Janine and Michelle? Y'all know me and that girl don't like each other, and y'all know that bitch got me blocked on Instagram. Don't motherfucking play. That bitch be acting like she got motherfucking amnesia. Like, she don't remember shit. Like, <laughs> but y'all know, like, we ain't gonna like each other. The fuck? I get active in real life. That's why bitches block me. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh, would you please collaborate with DDG? Shit, I might. Um, damn. Someone said, can I have a kiss? Um. Do you prefer being in a relationship with a female or a nigga? By the way, I love you. What's up with these questions? It's a lot of gay questions. Or oh, itchy. I'm itching, y'all. Oh, I think it's the hair. It is itching so bad though. Oh my god. Um If y'all like me, just say that. If you wanna eat my just say that. Like just say that. Literally just say that. If you like me and you wanna eat my motherfucking Just say that. Don't be asking me if I'm gay too bad, girl. I'm gonna eat your life. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> no, for real. Stop asking me them questions. If y'all like me, just say that. I need to figure out if there's more new questions give me a second because that was all the questions right there <laughs> who inspires you to keep going honestly what inspires me to keep going is that i feel it in my you know how like you feel in your life and also something that makes me depressed and sad is that you can feel like i know where i'm meant to be in life and i'm not where i'm meant to be right now i'm on my way there but i'm not there and i just want the process to be faster so what keeps me motivated is knowing that and it's like a feeling that you get in your body like my body gets depressed when i feel like i'm not doing enough for it when i feel like i'm not where i need to be or 
Like, I'm supposed to be on motherfucking TV. I'm supposed to be in Beverly Hills. <sighs> Baby, I will be there, okay? <laughs> like, and honestly, if it wasn't for me stopping a little bit after high school and being in a relationship, I would be there. That's why I say don't stop after high school. Keep going. I was, bro. Oh my God. I was that bitch and I'm still that bitch. Just fucking no. This hair is like, ooh. I'm about to get my toes on y'all, so. I'm gonna fuck with y'all later. But that was really it for this Q&A. Um, I hope I answered all the questions that y'all wanted answered. And, um, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Um, I want to let you know that all the negative comments will be blocked. Anything, if you saying something hurtful or negative towards me will be blocked. Because, like I said, I go through shit. And nobody wants to see that every day. Every fucking day. Nobody wants to see that. So, anything negative, um, you will be blocked from my channel. You'll be blocked from my Instagram page. Like, stop with the bullshit. <laughs> stop. But, keep me out your mentions. Or these hands will be in your mouth.